Hello everybody, welcome back to an edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert Training. In this video, what I'm going to show you is a function that I have done to, or I'm trying to make it easy to data login, okay, in your PLC in case you want to log, I don't know, a few variables and create a document with one specific name, then this function will help you to, to do it. And probably much faster than created as I showed you in the previous video using the concat with the login and all the stuff. Okay, so let's go to the software. So I created these two function blocks. So basically, this one will generate uh, the string name or W string name, the file that you need in order to push into the log record. Okay. Um, it helps you to have up to 10 variables. Okay. In a string. Then what we have is the generation of a title. Okay, so you need to put on each uh, variable that you have the name of the variable. This is mandatory, but you can have it. So it will generate like the first row for the document and also the all the different entries that you need. Okay, just generate the text. Then on this one, with that information, it just go inside and generates the 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 records okay and also you can see the size of the actual record and then we just rename the record so you put your name or the name that you want on it okay so basically what we need we just need to go to here to the tools tree and create the data logger manager so right click add object and here you should be able to find the data log manager once you have it you just need to create a new file data log it's going to be for log file or whatever name that you want so you're going to save as log file here you can use sd card or internal flash i recommend to add the date and time here column an internal buffer i recommend you to use one because i don't use the dump file or dump method in the in the block inside so you just need to use this okay close so once you've created this file just need to use on this part the location and the file name so the original file name is going to be this one log file the file location is going to be log file because it knows that it's internally and there's you have it otherwise you just need to define the whole path forward slash sd zero forward slash log file dot log we just need to add the extension here for the log and there is going to be my new log name so it's going to be uh for example machine temps in okay, case so it's going to be temperatures or whatever you want okay and then on here on this input output we just need to add the name of our data log uh, data log manager file that we have in this case going to be log file so here i'm going to change this to log file okay if you don't have anything and you create it we create an instance and that will not work okay so now that we have this let's just play around with the controller so i'm going to connect to the controller uh, administrator administrator one okay fine yes Okay, so play. So the important thing here is to check the original files that we have inside. So files, here we have the log. This is the one I'll be working with. I'm going to delete it. And then we just need to check the date and time. So I'm going to write Probably it just, yeah, an hour 
for doing to this we to see what we can do by block to change this just going to do it this way just to show you so i have the connection with the controller so now what this one does is to we have the enable of the block okay and if i'm not wrong once you enable this okay if we create a the file okay with the information that you have on the first row the information of the first row will be given by this block or you can manually add the text that you want so in this case what i'm going to do is to play with the instance here directly i'm going to use for example um 23.5 ah, sorry the amount of variables that i want i'm going to lock three variables uh, 22.5 23.6 and 28.9 okay now this is going to be like a temp 1 temp 2 temp 3 very original okay so i got this three now i'm going to use on my log i'm going to use stress three variables here three variables need to write this here three and you can see here it just generate the string for me to use so if we go back to the instance the output here you can see temp1 temp2 temp3 and information so this one generates the w string that i need for the login without doing anything extra okay the only thing is that the variables need to be real that's the only thing that you need to do so now that you have that, what you need to do is to configure the, on the other side the how often do you want the log to be uh, written into the file, okay? The login. So this information is in milliseconds. So every two seconds, I will get a new file. Okay. Uh, as I already explained you this before, the location where it's it, and this one is particularly for getting the size of the file. This one is just to know the name and the information I need to for renaming it, and then the new file that I want to. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to enable this. So at the moment, if we go back to here and put it on this side, files here, log, you can see there isn't anything at all. So now if I go here and I enable this, it should create a file, the log file, with something. This something should be only, if I know wrong, the... Come on, there we go. Just open this on the other side. Let's bear with a second. There we go. So here you can see they have the date where this one was created and the title. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is to remove this one. Yeah. And then now I'm going to enable the records. So now you can see here the size as it's increasing. It's doing something which is out of the define. Here you can see the size every two seconds is doing something. So I'm getting the log. So as soon as I remove the record, it will um, change the name for the name that I want to. Okay just finish and then I have machine temps dot log so I'm going to move this to the other side and then I'm going to open it there we go I have the information okay every two seconds I got this uh with every two seconds Maybe you can check here how to make sure. 
here I have hours, minutes, probably I should change this to half seconds. Okay, but you can see that it's very simple, very straightforward. Uh, the login and how you create the things. Okay, yeah, I missed this one. Um, so in every entry you have that uh, and it's important to have the turn them up in one so we generate the files. So if you want to create a new file, uh, then I would probably recommend to go here and what's it here to remove the enable and then create it again so we have the first entry that one okay on the new file otherwise it would generate another one so now if I start a new one okay uh, minimal modification okay so it will if i start a new one it will create a new file with the original file that is called log file i need to pull this one again oops okay so well this is one but i believe you get the idea on our real uh, that okay to get the idea now how to do it and then just enable seven we create a file so if we go back here log file and then start recording there we go and you can see this one is increasing the log file here you can see it i can see if i can change these to temps so if you want you can put the date and time also in the file uh, to so now i'm going to remove this one and then it will create the number two file at the end then i can move this one here times two logs and here you can see they have the seconds and every two seconds they have the information that i want to so as you can see um let me just check this as you can see it's very simple how you can easily make a login okay just put information on the side the name of the variable and then it just generates the a string format that is required for the login okay uh so um it's very simple just need to play with it so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one